I totally realize that I am a little bit late to this trend um, of I tried following a blank makeup tutorial, but guys, I, I couldn't let this opportunity pass me by. I have to do this video. I wouldn't say that I'm terrible at makeup, but I'm definitely not amazing at makeup. So I'm really interested to see how this turns out for me. Now I have decided to do a challenging makeup tutorial, I am choosing to follow a Carly Bybel tutorial. And if you don't know who Carly is, wow, first of all, she's gorge. But second, her makeup is so good. Like, it's like 50 steps, but it's so good. And I'm really excited to see if I can somehow look like her. <laughs> Probably not. But real quick, before we get into it, I just want to give a big thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. Whether you're looking to learn something new or just simply relax to storytelling, Audible has an audiobook for that. I have personally been an Audible paying customer for years and I can't imagine my life without it. I listen to an audiobook every day when I'm getting ready. I mean, if I get ready, I don't get ready every day, but when I get ready, I always listen to an audiobook because it just literally puts me in the best mood. So if you're interested in giving Audible a try, they're actually offering my viewers a free 30-day trial with a free book. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash Kalel, or you can text Kalel to 500-500 and start listening. Also, the books are yours to keep. You can re-listen to them over and over again, even if you cancel your membership. I'm currently listening to Shane Dawson's I Hate My Selfie because I'm just obsessed with listening to him tell stories. He's such an amazing storyteller. And basically this book is a collection of essays where he just shares it all, the light, the dark, the funny, the gross, like it's just, it's all out there. And it's really, really funny. And I just love like, there's just something about his voice it's just so like real and relatable and I really have enjoyed listening to him as I get ready. So if you'd like to listen to Shane's book for free or basically any other book, just go to audible.com slash Kalel or text Kalel to 500-500. So the one that I want to follow, I started watching it the other day and then stopped because I was like, okay, this is the one I want to do. And I kind of want it to be a surprise as I'm doing it. So I stopped watching it. So I have my makeup kit over here with all of my stuff in it. Hopefully, I mean, it's not huge. So hopefully I have enough things to replicate this tutorial. Um, also, all of my things are cruelty free. So I might not have a lot of the same things as Carly, but I think actually she's vegan. She might be like slowly making moves on the cruelty free stuff. I'm not sure what her situation is with that. But anyway, hopefully I have enough supplies to recreate this look. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm so excited. Let me get that screen capture started so you guys can see what I see. Hi everybody, thank you for watching. Oh, for so pretty, I love this, this look. And today I found myself getting ready for a lunch date. I'm about to hit the road, but if you guys want to get ready with me and yes, see how, I, do. I got this hair Show me, girl. Right here. To start off today's look, I'm using the Natasha Denona Magic Primer. Okay, primer. Oh, oh, girl, we're moving quick. We're moving quick. Okay, she said primer. I am going to start with a primer as well. I don't have that one, um, but I do have the Too Faced Hangover Face Primer. So, let's put a little bit of this on. I actually normally put highlighter in my primer to kind of like give myself a glow, but she didn't do that. So I guess I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna pull my hair off my face so I don't annoy you guys with my hair falling in my eyes. For foundation, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage in the color Fair. I'm gonna blend that in with my damp UV blender. Okay, one thing I wanna notice is that her brows already look done. Should I do my brows first? <laughs> or like maybe they're just freshly microbladed because I also get mine microbladed, but it's been a minute. It's been a minute, girl. They're fading. Um, but I guess I'll just wait. I don't know. It looks like they're done. So she's doing foundation. I do not have this LA Girl foundation, but I do have the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And I am in between shades. So I'm mostly five. So I'll do a full pump of five and then just a little smidgen of six. So here we go. She went in with a beauty blender. Oh wait, it was wet. I do have this bougie ass 
water spray. Just for convenience sakes, guys. Not like, I'm not like trying to be bougie. Okay, so she's, oh wait, I'm already failing. She put the foundation on her face. <laughs> she put the foundation on her face, not the sponge. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Okay, she did like, boop, 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 boop. Here, 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 and then <laughs> the wet beauty blender. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Just getting this all in there. To contour my nose, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in beautiful bronze. Okay. Um. Whoa. 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 Okay. That's a really intense um, contour, and I have nothing of the sort. Like, I truly have nothing like that. Um, I mean, I have a bronzer. I guess I'll use a powder bronzer to try to do something like that. Also, I just wanna say, like, she definitely has done her brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my brows. Um, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow. This is amazing. Just defining i mean hers are pretty damn defined so maybe i'll go a little extra today with how it normally looks okay brows are on they're a little bit more intense today than i would normally do but like i feel like i gotta kind of get on her level so we went we went there okay but back to this nose contour guys i <laughs> i don't know about this one all right i have never in my entire life contoured my nose um, I've seen quite a few people do it, so, okay, here we go. Let's give it a whirl. The crazy thing is, is I have the kind of nose that should be contoured, <laughs> but for some reason it just always looks a little like muddy to me. I attempted to do it once and then I was just like instantly took it off. So here we go. So she started by going underneath. It's like she's kind of like framing this little center part. So let's see. Just, am I doing this right? Okay, there we go. I think that looks pretty similar to what she has going on. Not as intense, obviously, but I gotta say, I think I feel a little bit like Simba from The Lion King with this like nose shape. I have a very like cat-like wide nose shape. Now she is going in with the shape tape. Honey, I got that. You already know I got that shit. All right, she's going pretty heavy. She's going all the way to the nose line and then over. Woo, girl, that's bright. Okay, then she also puts here a little bit. Her smile lines, which is interesting, and her chin. And then I think she's about to blend out with the Beauty Blender. And I'm gonna just blend that in with my Beauty Blender. Okay, so I actually have a different Beauty Blender that I like to do my concealer with because it has like a flat edge. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna start blending it in. Like, do I, am I not supposed to touch this contour line? Because I feel like it's getting a little close. Oh, okay. I mean, I kind of already went in there, but we'll do some more to really accentuate that. You don't love your nose. And you I don't, don't girl. It. I don't love it, but... It's like a necessity every time. <laughs> okay. She set my under eyes so, she just kind of like put the concealer on top of the contour. Like this. I gotta say, this is scaring me how, how skinny my nose looks. What the hell? Okay, I don't know. Maybe I should start contouring my nose. Damn. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna be mixing these two shades from my Shade and Light palette. Normally I use like a setting powder, but this way is a little bit quicker. Okay. I found I kind of want to skip this step because I have very, very dry skin. I don't normally use powder of any kind on my skin. 
but I kind of feel like I should try doing everything that she's doing. Her skin looks like it's glistening. She looks very oily, um, but I'm not. But okay, we'll try anyway. So I'll be using just a little bit of the Kat Von D setting powder. Let's see. I have also never baked in my life. And I'm not, I don't really quite understand that trend i mean i get the point it's supposed to brighten but to me it just accentuates fine lines i don't know maybe i don't have the right skin type for it with my small tapered brush and the lightest shade in the uh same shade in my palette i'm gonna go over the sides of my nose oh god we're contouring again she's using a bit more of like a little fluffy brush this time around to have a a lighter hand so We'll do that. <laughs> I'm scared, okay. Oh, uh, Lord. I just don't like this nose contouring thing. I don't know why, it's just not for me. Next for brows, I'm gonna go in oh. with my ebony brows. She hasn't done the brows? Okay, 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 wait, I have this. We can define them a little bit more. So I'm going to copy her. Well, let's see. Let's see how she does it. With my lavender face. Okay. Pretty defined. So I'm just going to clean up the line a little bit with the pencil. Make it a little bit more sharp like hers. With my lavender facial spray, I'm just going to... Okay, I have some facial spray. I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I feel like I need triple hers. Because, bitch, I'm dry. I'm gonna go in with my Ebony Brow Powder. Ooh. I'm just gonna fill these brows up. Okay, I don't have this, but I feel like I got enough on my brows. So we're gonna skip. So for today's look, I'm gonna try out the new Soft Glam Palette yes, bitch. by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I literally I just opened it. It's so fresh. I haven't even touched it yet. Me too, girl. First, I'm gonna go in with orange soda. Wait, she's not gonna use an, an eye primer? Oh. I'm gonna apply that right into the crease. All right, going in with the orange soda. It's funny, I've swatched this color before and I just feel like it's so light for my skin tone, but let's do it. With my finger, I'm gonna pick up the color rose pink. Okay, rose pink. And I'm gonna apply that right onto my lid. With the outer half. The outer half. And then in the inner part, I'm gonna pick up the color glistening. Glistening. And apply that on the inner half. I'm like shook that she's just using her fingers. I'm like, girl, I got a brush for that. I can get in way better with a brush than I can with my finger. But all right, here we go, here we go. With my smaller blending brush and the color Sienna, I'm gonna apply with these shadows, a little bit goes a long way, so I'm just barely applying a little bit right into the crease. Okay. She's going in just right at the top of that V and accentuating it. Oh, girl. Oh, Lord. Okay, 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 okay. We need a smaller one. We should have listened. I mean, this is kind of the same size she's using, but... We're gonna go even smaller because I got smaller eyes, so. All right, we're saving it. We're saving it, guys. We're coming through with this. We're not, we're not too bad. Okay, okay, this is actually starting to really come together and look nice. I am pleasantly surprised that I could make that look decent. <laughs> Okay, so she's blending it up a bit, and then she's bringing it all the way in. Just like the remainder of kind of what's on the brush, nothing too 
heavy. Okay, so now that I've spent about 10 minutes trying to get this eye to look like hers, um, let's try to do the other one. <laughs> Sometimes when you're doing makeup, don't you wish you just had one big eye? Just one? That way you don't gotta worry about making anything match or like... <sighs> okay, I'm thinking that's pretty good. What do you guys think? I feel like hers is a lot more like glowy because my skin is just so dry. I wish I would have really put down some like, normally I put eye cream and eye primer and all this stuff on my eyes to help them look very soft, but. <laughs> I'm going back in to the large one and I'm just gonna blend again. There's no new product on this brush. And okay, so she's taking a clean brush and just kind of blending that line. It's a good tip, one that I always use. And then with my Morphe M170-4, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the color Tempera. And we're gonna put that under the brows. Okay, so she's putting a little pop of this kind of matte cream color, just right under the brow, really accentuate that. And I'm also gonna apply that same color right into, actually with my finger, right into my tear duct. Okay, so she's taking that same color, putting it into the inner corner, like this. I just want to pause, like, she's sitting here admiring it, and like, I just really love how this looks, and I'm just looking at mine like, girl, girl, I mean, it doesn't look bad, it just looks like, dry, <laughs> I'm just looking at it, and I'm like, bitch, you look dry as hell. Okay, we are taking a little pencil brush, which I should have somewhere, yes, yes. Um, and we're going back in with the rose pink and we're doing it on the lower lash line. <laughs> Chibi just puts his paw up from behind the computer, just, just trying to get in there. Just trying to see what's going on. Just trying to see what's going on. And I'm going to apply a little eyeliner. I'm just going to feel like me without eyeliner, honestly. Come here, squeaky. Oh, she's talking to her cat. Okay, so I don't have that liner. However, I do have, where are you? The Kat Von D tattoo liner. So I'm going to do my wing with this. Okay, actually, I'm going to do this off camera, guys, because this is just like... <laughs> I feel the pressure right now, okay? I'll be right back. All right, I think I did a pretty good job. What do you guys think? Is it like kind of symmetrical? I feel like I I feel like I did that. I made that work, um, but this is so much more difficult than gel liner. I don't know how people use this stuff. Okay, but she brought that liner all the way in now, didn't she? I don't usually do that because I have very deep set small eyes and it's like that's prime real estate for me all right we don't got much square footage going on um so i don't normally bring it all the way in but maybe i'll do just a little bit more oh we're going in with lashes yes that's me oh girl i got that I got that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. These are the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. Very important. I will never use animal hair in my false eyelashes, so I always make sure that they are faux. These ones are amazing. Um, super, super um, wispy. I've actually never worn these before, and now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, damn, that's a big ass band on there. I don't know if my little ass eyes can support something like that, but we're gonna try. I'm actually gonna cut off quite a bit. 
I think about a third of it because I just don't like doing full lashes. Okay, okay. I think we're making this work. Stick, bitch. Stick. God, I hate to do it, but I had to literally put a little spot of glue directly on my lash line to get that corner to stick. Oh man, that did not want to stay on there. All right, the lashes are on. I feel like I'm about to like take flight. Seriously, it was so hard to get that big ass band glued down and then even harder to make sure that the liner was all covering it, but I think we're pretty solid here. All right, what is next? For mascara, I'm using the Buxom Lash Mascara. It's an empty, a new one. Okay, I don't have that mascara but I do have the Urban Decay Perversion. So let's make these lashes blend. Can I just say um, that I have an event in a couple hours and I was planning on taking all of this off and kind of just doing my normal, more like natural makeup, but I don't think these lashes are coming off. Not today, not tomorrow, not the next day, and probably not the next day, so. Guess we going like this, bitch. Okay, is she doing the lower lashes? She is, okay. Okay, I don't normally do my lower lashes either because, I don't know, I just feel like it makes my eyes look even smaller. But all right, we'll go in today. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this white in, my, in our lash line. Oh, I don't have that but I could certainly use something like that. I mean, I actually do have a shimmery white that I use as a highlighting pencil sometimes, so I guess I can try to use this. Let's see. I mean, okay, okay, okay. I feel like that basically countered the crazy shadow that these lashes were putting on my lower lash line. And now my eye looks a little bit more open. So I'm feeling this tip, Carly. I'm feeling this. Okay, what else we got? I'm using this cream blush. Oh, shit. A beauty blender. I have never used my beauty blender for my blush. Um, I don't have any ColourPop blush. I do have this one from Milani. So, okay. Uh, she said... Blush. Ooh, I don't like this. This does not feel right to me, but yes, Queen Carly. Let's do it. Okay. I like that. It like really kind of softens it. To highlight my nose, I'm using the Amrezzi Oh, I have this. This highlighter is nuts. Okay. Whoa, I'm so in love with this and the packaging, amazing. So she's highlighting this just down the center of her nose. Ridiculous. Okay, so she does just the kind of like tip, tip, tip first. And then from there, she goes down the center. And I'm gonna apply a little bit on my cheeks. Okay, we're going in with the cheek highlighter. Just softly, right here. And then we're gonna go in with some bronzer. Bronzer. Using the shade and light palette, the middle shade. Okay. I am using the new Anastasia bronzer, amazing, cruelty free and vegan, which is quite rare for a bronzer. Um, and I love it. I am the shade Saddle. I just find it's so perfect. She's also taking this up to her hairline, give a little definition. Lips. I'm using the Jouy lip liner in Sienna. Okay, she's doing kind of like a mauve. And then for the 
lip. So she's going in with a lip liner. I have this one from Hourglass in Eden that I think I'm gonna use for this. This is kind of crazy, but just recently, as in like two weeks ago, I bought my first lip liner. I had never worn it before. I just always put lipstick on and I cleaned it up with a brush and I thought it was good enough, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get on this lip liner trend. And I posted an Instagram and literally everyone was like, oh my God, you got your lips done. And I'm like, no, <laughs> just lip liner, but thank you. And then for the gloss, I'm gonna be using the Champagne Dream Bellini Gloss by Becca. Ooh, that looks really nice. Okay, so she's using a Champagne Shimmery Lip Gloss over her liner, no lipstick, which is interesting. I always do liner and then lipstick and then just like a tiny bit of gloss, but she's doing mostly gloss. Okay, so I have these new Urban Decay um, Hi-Fi Shine glosses. This is in Midnight Cowgirl. This is like pretty close. I don't know, it should be good. I'm obsessed with these glosses because they're minty and really shiny. Okay, and actually that is the end of the makeup portion of her video. So I did it guys, I made it through. What do you think? I think actually it looks pretty spot on, like if I say so myself. I mean, obviously her skin is really dewy and gorge and mine is a little like crusty, but I am, I'm happy. I'm like pleasantly surprised with my skills. Although, you know, I gotta say, um, I was thinking that I was gonna do some beauty content on this channel, but now I'm kind of reconsidering because I was like, wow, this literally took me, like I've been sitting here doing this video for about three hours. Like this is like, this took a long time to do. So I don't know, maybe, let me, let me know if you guys would be into makeup tutorials and stuff like that. Um, if you want to see like my everyday makeup, like my little tips and tricks and all the things I do, let me know if you'd be into that. But okay, um, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I mean, I definitely learned a lot. That blush trick, I am going to use that from now on. Um, be sure to follow Carly if you are interested in makeup videos because she is the queen. She's so good. She has so many amazing looks on her channel. I know you will love it. All right, but I'm gonna wrap up here. I will see you really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.